So, um, I got something a little different here. Maybe some of you have seen it, maybe you've not. It is a uh, plug and play system by Atari, based off the uh, battle controllers here. And it's a little plug and play TV thing. So, uh, quick overview. This is the one player controller. You got a Atari style paddle controller. And it stops. This is the one that stops all the way. You know, turn it all the way this way, it stops. See? Got your fire button right there. Yeah, nothing too special over here. Got your AV and the second player connected there. Nice big old Atari logo, reset button, power indicator. Power. Ooh, glowy. And a uh, menu button. In this controller, you got a. Uh, this is more authentic than the other one. This is only two player. And uh, for the purpose of this, we're going to be using this one. All you do is you plug it in, and uh, that works. So, I uh, guess we're going to go try it out. Stop being shaky. Alright. So, do a quick little mini review of everything on here. Let's see what we got. So, we'll start with breakout. That's your paddle, nothing special. Here's your ball. And, uh, seems pretty faithful. And then if you hit menu, uh, you see your little Atari on the bottom. You get your game reset, game select, and this is graph. Um, I don't get it. I don't really care. Right difficulty, left difficulty, TV type. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Well, made it black and white. I guess it is pretty faithful. Well, whatever. Wow. Not good at breakout, but this thing is nice analog control. You can throw it if you need, or it goes slow. It's not just one speed, you know? Not bad. So, uh, it's pretty addicting, actually. Breakout. I remember why I fired was so fun now. Oh, alright. So we go to. Oh, hold on. Exit. Ah. Let's try out. What's our time limit here? Oh, we got time. Candy bar work. This turns into two parts. What? Oh, uh, I'm the green one. Okay. Okay, so. You're the green air vehicles. You're trying to get more points than the red guy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Alright. Try that again. Go. I'm getting my ass kicked. This one I have not played yet. I'm not really using the paddle at all in this one. It's uh, just a fire button. I guess that can get pretty fun. If you keep rapid firing, the bomb just starts over. So. Alright, never played that one. Not a big fan of it as far as I can tell. This is Casino. Oh, um. 40? 60? Oh, it's Blackjack. Okay. I will stay. I just won 60 bucks. I'll try one more hand. I'm gonna bet 100. Oh, well, this game. It's blackjack. I'm doing more, more of these than the circus tar is fun. playing something like this when I had, uh, shit, I suck at this, a Rugrats game for my computer, and, uh, it was based off the movie, and it had a nice little Circus Atari rip-off thing. This one's fun. Uh, I don't know if it's two players or not, but, does it matter? If you press the paddle, it switches the direction you want to fly your monkey. I'm assuming they're monkeys. 
Right. Demons to diamonds. Oh, this is what we got to destroy shit with your laser attack. And two player, the other dudes on top. I don't know this. Right. Nitro. Oh, this sucks. You use the paddle to move in the button to accelerate, and that's basically what happens every 15 seconds. Five seconds. Um. Sure. I mean, it's more seizure inducing than anything else. I'm not a fan of Night Driver. I mean, if you're good at it, good for you, but. You know what? I don't think anyone cares. All, every car is blue. Go Tart. Alright, stop it. Mm, steeplechase. What's our time here? We got time. Um. Oh, uh, okay. You have to get your horse to jump over the things. Oh, that's simple enough. I don't know what the paddle does. Accelerates? I don't know how you accelerate a horse. Oh, okay. It makes the speed faster or slower. It makes it harder. Okay. Why do you have decent reaction time? I mean, this is pretty easy. Pressing the button. Buttoning. Do I make it? Remember that I control the editing in this. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh. Come on. I miss. This is one of the more boring ones. Oh, again, when you get to the end, it's harder. Come on. It's much reaction. Oh. Alright, I won. Okay. Super breakout. It's breakout. Again. Right. Video Olympics. It's pong. Anyway. Warlords. Now, here's the thing about uh, Warlords. You have this home Atari version where I'm controlling the orange guy. Right. I mean, it's okay. But, if you exit, you have these two arcade machines over here, which is, which is Pong, where you get the arcade Pong, or you get the arcade Warlords. Yeah. Let's start this off. I'm not very good at this, but it's really fun. And you control your guy by moving the paddle, and if you hold the fire button, you can grab the ball and then shoot it at somebody. Which is fun. And the object to do is just destroy all the other enemy monsters. Base. If they hit your little king symbol here, you lose. This is fun competitively. But, uh, let's get my final thoughts. So what do I think of it overall? Eh, it's not too bad. You know, a couple bucks, like, 15 bucks for this. I mean, it's fun to play two people if you, you know, you got nothing else to do. want to try out some old retro stuff. Everything feels sturdy. It's nice. Out of frame. But, uh, you know what? It's not bad to give these a try. Uh, I think I got these for a gift, and uh, they're not bad, so check them out.